Good day, how are you? So I've been seeing a lot of videos, what's in text, um, tool bags, and all that stuff. So what do professional cablers um, carry? So first thing is a must, and this is what I outfit all our teams with. Klein work belt. So, and I'm gonna try to review a couple things very fast. You're always gonna have your tape, and I can't tell you how many times you lose your snips. So I generally carry two pairs. I carry a multi-tool, uh, very functional for just pliers, anything like that. Carry a drill holder, and of course the pockets. I can't tell you how many times I see my guys carrying their snips or anything like that in their back pocket, and then they're ruining their jeans. So I tell you what, for an investment of 45 bucks, and I always got a blade in here, um, this is stuff I can do any kind of cabling job with the gear that I'm about to show you. So basically, get the back side. So let's take a look at the interesting thing. Let's take a look at the kit. So here's what I got. And we do a lot of work in Center City, so we need something to wheel back and forth. So what's inside my kit? Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a warning. Now you probably want to angle down this way. So this kit from Stanley, great thing to do. So all my critical tools or fragile tools I'm going to keep up top. So let's just go through a couple different things. Um, I warn you, it's going to be messy because I'm a professional and I'm constantly working. One thing that I usually carry is a bunch of short jumps and basic testers. Now, a lot of times we'll have certs, um, like fluke reports and stuff like that. But basic testing, when I'm just down and dirty and I'm trying to get connection, I'll just have two testers. Uh, like the client, it also has a um, tracer, toner. A uh, little nub out here, so, and my guys are constantly losing these, so I'm constantly charging them 45 bucks for them. Uh, Sperry, this is one of the first units. We have lots of these. Um, so these have always been wonderful for us. And who doesn't need short jumpers? So that's basic testers that I carry. Now, when you're toning out things, I just carry generally a fluke tester. Now here's the thing that I always like to do. Here's the catch. So we got our toner and I usually carry a barrel connection. I want to do that. Now I'll tell you a little secret here. I always carry a $10 Amazon special toner because sometimes the fluke bleeds through so bad you're you're looking at a bundle of cable and this is so powerful that it will you know yeah you can uh, also slice down the wire and, and put it on these connections but sometimes it's so powerful i go for the cheap one because the signal is not as strong and in a bundle i can really find a cable fast so that's something i always encourage people to do have two toners um let me just show you that real quick. I love this thing, it saves me so much time. So there's that. So there's that. This will save you time. So a couple other different things that a tech should always have. Just a little can of screws. I can't tell you how many times that's worth it. These are success tools, snub nose and just a regular Klein multi-tool. So you have different things, even the snub, and sometimes a little hard to think. I, I thought that was going to be worthwhile investment. These are security bits. You never know when you're going to be working on a camera or something a little different. That's just from Platinum Tools. Hey, you always got to have a, a tape measure. I always losing them. Stud finder. Um, as you can see, I get some wear on my tools, so, but any good investment of a $50 stud finder is a great thing to have. That's some text message. Always got to have a level for when you're installing a rack. Uh, this is just a regular, uh, I'm not going to wear that, but, you know, it's good to have. So I'm trying to go through this fast, but there's a lot of stuff. 
This is a drywall saw. I've always preferred this one. As you can see, it's, it's gotten its money's worth out of it. But it's got a couple different attachments. Husky. And they usually have a holder and it kind of went through. So drywall saw. How about some really good tricks? Batteries, extra batteries. And I always wrap these because they'll short out. So, and I know a lot of people's videos, they have a nice clean box and all that stuff, but I, I work for a living. So, why does he have two punches? Um, why does he carry two snips? Because when you're fast and furious, you're gonna have your teams, somebody might have misplaced something. So I always mark my stuff and then I always have a backup. Ideal, fluke, it's just pretty much your preference. If I ever see General Electric on site, I kind of know what kind of tech that is. Um, label maker, which we'll get into that. I just wanted to show you a couple of cool tricks, cool stuff for success. Drill bit extender, that's handy. Small screwdriver for doing any uh, server work. Telescopic. You never know what's in a wall or anything like that. Plus, it also has a magnetic bit on it. Sometimes you drop screws. What else is good in here? Rack screws. You can never have enough rack screws. Now, here's my pride and joy. Getting through new construction, um, Klein has a couple different uh, bushing, grommet, um, drill outs. So these guys are expensive. They're about, well, in the about 30 40 bucks there's different diameters but that is very successful you always want to have a couple different um, biscuit boxes velcro and usually I carry a lot of things guys carry a cell phone charger because I can't tell you how many of my guys that call them and they say oh my cell phone's dead so uh, tricks of the trade uh, Always want to carry washers. These are an installer's best friend, paddle beds. Everybody's got different names for them, but I usually carry a whole complete set of them. If I need to get a hole somewhere, if I need to go through wood, put it in my drill, boosh, I'm through. So, a lot of different things. Eh, there's a couple of different things in here I won't show you. It's kind of a preference. I always like to try to uh, make sure power. We're not electric guys, so we don't do this. Let me show you a couple tricks. What's this and what's this? Now, this has seen better days, but I usually just cut off little strips. These are magic erasers. Put a little bit of water on there, and when your guys have uh, scuffed up the walls, just take that right off and it will get any boot prints or any dirt marks when you're cutting off different things. Believe it or not, when you're trying to get through a wall, I have, I'm going to show you something in a couple seconds, um, how to get down a wall. Just put some string down there and at least you have some weight. So that's old school fishing weight. <laughs> so that's pretty much the top of the kit. Inside the middle of the kit, and everybody's got different roll kits. I tried DeWalt, but I tell you what, DeWalt was kind of heavy. Um, keep an assortment of screws, uh, pens. Here's a different bit. Uh, same with the Klein. That's always good to have. As you can see, that. Always keep the pair of headphones when I finally get working. Um, another thing I do is, this is for wood. So you have metal bits. You have wood, and then you have paddle. If you have these right here, you can pretty much get through any wall. I don't care what you're saying. And with the drill bit extension, you can definitely get through any wall. So a couple of the little different bits and pieces. Um, I try to have small uh, wire ties because that's good for dressing. Now, I do have a couple of different assorted things, but here's... The fun stuff. Um, now, yes, I'm going to probably get a lot of comments, but there are fluke butt sets. But I just outfit everybody with a small, simplistic, um, cheaper made uh, butt set. And this has saved my bacon many, many, many times. 
So I make sure all our techs have a just, you know, simple butt set and it's great to carry in there. Label maker. Now, we do have industrial, um, the rhinos, dinos, but I tell you what, 20 bucks, Walmart, it has done well for me. Now, I would like to tell you, use plastic labels, white plastic, because if you just use the paper labels on these things, they're just going to peel right off. So, yeah, we do have the big industrial printers again, but I prefer that one because I've been doing this for so long. This is my best friend, drill. Um, don't really need to go off on too much of on that, but every time I walk into a site, I always make sure I'm plugged in and I have a battery um, backed up. So invest in a drill. I don't want to see a nine volt craftsman. More screws, because I do a lot of J hooks. Trash bag. When I was first starting out a couple years back, um, I just assumed somebody came behind us and cleaned up. So uh, we carry trash bags, we use the magic eraser, we have vacuums and all that good stuff. So this is mule string, great for high tension. I always carry stuff, um, you know, it works better than a pull string sometimes. You just sometimes you need it rough. Now, this is my contraption that has saved me a lot of time. Just a mule string, about 12 feet. And for weight, I can just take this right down the wall. So if I got a clear shot, just put that down, and I just got a clear shot, and I can get down a wall within like, you know, prepping and everything like that, a couple seconds. Always need these. Always need some drywall caddies as a thing. A lot of times I'll use different color tape for um, signaling something, whether it's a WAP run, whether it's a voice run, so try to have some more different tape. Another best friend of mine, we have a lot of these, uh, just the fish tape. And I guess, you know, just what's more in here, gloves, um, there's been a lot of dirty jobs. To make custom cables, uh, RJ crimpers, RJ11 or 45s, um, still sometimes people have problems with it. Very few and far between with security cameras, I might need this, or if I just need to strip wire a little bit uh, differently. And then when I got some heavier gauge, I'll just go ahead and snip this. Um, I get a lot of comments on this on construction sites. Um, they're like, hey, did you borrow your kid's hammer? You know, in our business, we don't really need that hammer much, but this has saved my bacon as well, something small. And that's it in there. Um, just make sure you have plenty of flashlights. This is one of these uh, mag lights, um, works great. And also, at the end of the day, um, I can signal people with the SOS. So that's it. What's in a professional network cablers kit? That's it. I would love to see some comments. Here's some of some ideas of some time saving tools that you might use. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and nicely put everything back and clean up my kit. Comment and subscribe when you can. Thanks.